You know, last time I checked, there's a lot of kitchens down in Louisiana, and some pretty good food comes out of them. But if you're looking for some Cajun and Creole cooking that's a little closer to home, I got a place you're gonna love. <laughs> I guarantee. A whole flock of food aficionados recommended that we give this place a try. So here we are, smack dab in the middle of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse, a gourmet gastronomic gathering place right downtown that serves up savory southern selections, cool cocktails, and a mess of friendliness. I was looking for the person responsible for this southern Owasonian oasis when all patrons pointed me in the direction of this guy, the crazy man in the kitchen himself, John Bielfus. Okay, John, first question for you. Who's Lula, and does Morgan know you're seeing her? Yes to the second question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, where'd, uh, where'd you get the name? Actually, we had two Lula Mays in my family. Now, I understand also on your business card, it says untrained and uncorked. Uncouth. Unco uncouth? Yeah. Is it untrained and uncouth? <laughs> untrained and uncouth. <laughs> well, what do you mean by untrained? I, I had no training. Um, I, I have the advantage of, um, and you'll, you'll get here someday, um, age. When you get older, you may, you'll understand better, probably. No, but, uh, not me, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've got the advantage of age. So I, I was untrained, but I had 50 years of cooking for myself and my family and my friends, and uh, been my passion since I was 15 years old, so. Well, I was gonna ask you when you got bit by the cooking bug, because I, it was pretty early, right? So I lost my parents early when I was 15. So for the next two years, I ate in a restaurant uh, fish and chips every day. And two things happened. I ran out of money, and I got sick of fish and chips. <laughs> you know, so, um, so I started cooking on my own and just fell in love with it, and particularly passionate for what I call peasant cooking from all over the world. That's the bug that bit me. I don't know if you can see down the hall or how that works, but I've got about 700 cookbooks over there, and that's, that's my brain. That. <laughs> that's my brain from around the world, yeah. But how did you end up with a Cajun Creole? southern restaurant my family was from the south yeah. so the food i grew up with was good simple southern cooking well i'm a firm believer that restaurants are one-third food one-third ambiance or atmosphere and one-third service and people say that this place is it's like a, it's almost like a getaway it's like a little mini vacation when they come here hospitality is what i grew up with with my southern family you know uh, there was you know the worst offense that we could have uh, is somebody come to our door anytime and there wasn't enough food to put on the table for them. Never happened in my house <laughs> with my mom. And uh, so, you know, we started the whole concept here, not creating something to, to be an awesome restaurant, but creating something that uh, Morgan and I, my wife and I, uh, would be proud of. And it starts with that hospitality. Well, I understand your cocktails are pretty good. Would you mind if I ordered a, oh, oh look. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. This, well, here's to many more years of good Oh, thank food. you so much, Tom. And many more of these. The food we devoured at Lula's was absolutely down-home delicious. And the fun we had with John, his wife Morgan, and our newfound friends was second to none. I'm telling you, if you want to enjoy some flavor-forward food with passionate people, linger at Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse for a while.